Okay, once again, four kings. And we do need a card selector, so if you could just say stop whenever you'd like, that's good. Uh, remember that card, don't forget the card. If you forget the card, we're going to all be looking kind of silly here. All right. Now, since I have four kings, I'm going to need uh, four piles. That's just uh, the nature of these, uh, these little experiments. Notice the clever pattern. Okay. We're roughly equal. Doesn't really matter. Let's see, let's put these in half at least. All right. All right. So normally when I do this trick, I would do this uh, one at a time with each, each king, one at a time. But to save some time and actually make it a little spectacular, I'm going to take a couple. I'm going to put these kings face to face. Now watch closely. All we got to do is count to three. One, two, three. Snap our fingers and check it out. No more kings, just deuces. All right? Well, the first question is, what happened to the kings? Well, I can tell you, I can't tell you how, but I can tell you where. The first one went right over here, the second right over here, the third way over here, and the fourth way over here. Now, you first thing you're going to, next thing you're going to ask is, well, that, that's a great trick, but how does that help me find your card? Uh, well, actually, the four deuces do. Uh, four deuces, uh, two plus two plus two plus two equals f equals eight, which I believe is the name of your card. And look at that little magical math. They add right up. And we're left with nothing. And there's the answer. Or something like that. 